Art doesn't always come in the form of a painting or a statue, and there's something new to Hampton Roads proving that right now. People are making their private hopes and dreams public. Ten on your side, Anita Blanton explains why they're asking themselves, what do I want to do before I die? Okay, I'll let you write in a minute, okay? I wrote that I will never die. I have Jesus. This is the place in Portsmouth that many people used to aimlessly pass every day that's now causing heads to turn, feet to stop, and minds to wonder. My friends that own businesses along High Street have said they see people stopping and reading and laughing and talking with each other. Barbara Vinson is a member of the Supporters of Portsmouth Public Art, the group that brought Before I Die walls that are becoming a growing trend around the world here to High Street in Hampton Roads. It's sort of a dream and it's sort of a, you know, a bucket list type. Thing. People first started picking up the chalk in New Orleans to grieve after Hurricane Katrina. And to date, over 450 Before I Die walls have been created in 30 languages and over 60 countries. I'd love to see some more modern art that kind of jolts you a little bit, makes you think, makes you smile, uh, gives you another reason to come back. The response has been tremendous. Every couple days, our volunteers come down and wash the board because it fills up with so much information. Here's how one of the boards looked last night. Even when the space on the board that they've allotted fills up, the chalk is still here and people are still able to get their point across. I want to visit every continent. The themes vary. People write about faith, freedom, peace, and of course love. Because I've been unmarried for 18 years, I have three wonderful children that are grown now, so it's fun. Time for me to start over. It's interactive art, and the group behind the idea hopes you'll visit this wall over and over again. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. The Before I Die wall will stay up through the end of October. The plan is to move it somewhere else in Portsmouth at some point. The supporters of Portsmouth Public Art say they've already had one neighborhood inquire about it.